Hello everyone, welcome to Malik 034 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Uh, again, today here with one more real time uh, live interview happened with uh, one of my colleagues uh, and uh, you know the interview uh, happened with Oracle India Private Limited, Oracle Corporation and uh, happened via Zoom meeting and uh, it is happened on 25th June 2020 and uh, interview went uh, approximately around two hours and uh, you know 10 minutes or two hours and 15 minutes. And then he has said all the questions to me and then, you know, he tried to capture all the, the, the questions asked in the interview. And then, you know, we grouped together all the live, uh, you know, uh, questions, whatever asked during the interview. So I want to share with you all guys. So first of all, if you're new to my channel, I request you to uh, please do subscribe Malik034 channel. And if you like my videos, please share, like and comment. Let's uh, see how the questions looks like. Uh, the first question is explain about day to day activities and which all your areas strong in at core database side or you know react side or exadata side so this is normally every interview they will ask and the second question goes like exadata you know uh, using image info output how you can say it is a db node or cell node what is the unique difference in the output right so that is the first second question and third question is uh, you know how uh, the cell node and compute node communicate each other through which uh, network or through which protocol, how, how they will communicate each other. And then DB node is not able to communicate with a cell node and what you will check uh, at immediate uh, attention, at immediate check. Uh, and the fifth question is, uh, please uh, let me know any issue you come across a cluster where, uh, like cluster where startup issues or cluster where services not coming up, uh, whatever the issue you, you faced in recent past. Uh, that's the fifth question. And the sixth question is cluster where service is not coming up, how you will troubleshoot. And the seventh question is uh, explain me cluster where startup sequence, how it will start. And OHSD is not coming up and what you will check. How you can start OHSD manually. If OHSD is not coming automatically, how you will start it manually. Cluster where services run on which run level. OLR is not coming up, what might be the reason and how you will fix it. CSST to start, what it will look for and what how you troubleshoot that and the 13th question is CSST will uh, you know start before ASM then CSST will read OTisk disk using which mechanism like OTisk disk will be in my ASM disk groups and CSST will start before ASM and then if the ASM is not up disk group will not up disk group will not up means we cannot read the disk but how CSST will read the disk and how it will read voting disk and which mechanism it will use and ASM is online and none of the DBs are coming up. What would be the issue and then how you will troubleshoot it. And CRST to start what it will look for. And OCR is corrupted and how you will restore it. To restore OCR, do you need entire cluster downtime or you need a node specific downtime? Right. So and then 18th question is how to start CRS in exclusive mode and what is the use of this exclusive mode? And what is the need of starting cluster in exclusive mode? These are the uh, you know, some complementary questions they asked along with that. And the question number 19 goes, what are socket files and where you can find those socket files? What are the advantages of the socket files? What are the use cases of the socket files? Why the socket files are more important? What is the difference in grid rolling and non-rolling patching? What is the pre-patch and post-patch will do? When you are running a post-patch, on last node or on any of the node it says that uh, you know uh, complaining that a pre-patch has not ran so then what you will do when you are running the post patch it says that pre-patch has not ran so what you will do and then after patching the last node it says that patch level mismatch and then you know even though you applied the same patch on all the nodes it says patch level mismatch and then what you will do and the question number 14 again exadata one of the cell disk is faulty or dropped and as a DBA immediately what you, you will check at ASM level. And question number 25th, can you suggest a replace replacement for the dropped disk or faulty disk during the rebalance is running? Can you suggest as a DBA, can you suggest to replace the disk when the rebalance is happening? In high redundancy, how many voting disks can you see? In a quarter rack, how many voting disks you can see? where you can see all those voting disks if you have if you have a three cell disk three cells and where you see how many voting disks you can see and where you can see uh, in a high redundancy in a quarter rack question number 27 
इन ए क्वार्टर एक हाई रेड एनर्जी वन डिस्क इज ड्रॉप्ड वॉट इज द इम्पैक्ट एंड आर यू गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द पैचिंग ओके एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट वट डज मीन बाई एस एम स्टेट एस एम मोड स्टेटस एंड एस एम मोड स्टेटस आउटकम राइट दीज आर कॉमन क्वेश्चन एंड सेल सर्वर कर्नल पैनिक अनेबल टू कम ऑनलाइन हाउ यू विल ट्रबल शूट इट एंड हाउ यू विल रिबूट इट इन केस ऑफ सेल सर्वर कर्नल पैनिक एंड डू यू टेक ओ एस बैकअप सॉरी डू यू टेक ओ एस बैकअप फॉर द सेल सर्वर एंड वाई Do you take a OS backup for the DB nodes and why? Doing the cell patching and DB node patching, do you take a backup of OS? And if yes, uh, how you take? And if you don't take, why you don't take? So for the cell and DB, okay. And then question number thirty-two, DB node kernel panic. How you will reboot it? DB node says it is not able to reboot and it is saying kernel panic from ILO. And then how you will reboot it? And question number thirty-three, how to boot a server using Dag dot ISO? Why you use Dag dot ISO for booting? And when okay, this is how you reboot using Dag dot ISO, ISO, and why you reboot using Dag dot ISO in case of kernel panic. And what are the services running in cell server, and how to restart them, and if there is any issue, and which log to which log you can check, right? These are the you know uh, combined questions. What are the cell servers? Cell server. What are the services running on the cell nodes? and how you will restart them and uh, what is the uses of all these services like cell srv ms and rs what are the uses of that and if the cell services are not coming and which log file you can check where you can check and question number 36 what is the smart scan question number 36 37 customer complaining smart scan is not happening like moment customer is complaining not happening like in the in the non uh, in the in the in a traditional rdbms The query used to take five minutes. In Excelita, it is taking ten minutes, and the smart scan is not happening. So immediately, what you will check? Like how you will make sure smart scan is happening or not, right? Okay. And question number thirty-eight. Uh, explain the connection details from the client to the database. The like moment the client submit the connection request, what all the connection request goes and how the connection is established to my database, from the scan to local listener and the database, how it happens. Please explain that. And like uh, question number thirty-nine. How scan knows which cluster node has the least connections, least loaded node? And question number forty: How you check a port is opened or not? Port is listening or not? And what you check in netstat output? And question number forty-two: I have five DB no, I have five uh, DBs, standalone DBs running on a server in my data center. Due to some power shutdown, my uh, data database server went down, and then later. i need to start all my 5 db out of 5 db i am able to start only 4 db and while starting a fifth db it is saying that out of memory issue so nothing nothing has happened at the database level nothing has happened at the server level all servers all database were up and running server 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 was fine and you know due to that power shutdown just a db node is rebooted so later you know i need to i am not able to start all 5 db only 4 db i am able to start what might be the issue like in case of it is reporting memory you know unable to allocate the memory out of memory issue what might be the issue right this is one of the uh, normal questions and question number 43 again like five db nodes uh, five standalone db is running and how you will check how much shared memory uh, all five database together using my shared shared memory at os level at the database level you can go uh, log in show parameter sga and then count all uh, sga of all five db you can count it but at os level how you will check it how much sga is used by all five dbs at my os level and question number 44 one cluster node is rebooted due to some issues cluster node rebooted It's like you know db node has rebooted not the cluster node eviction it's just a db node is rebooted due to some os issue or some network issue or something else like uh, what are logs you check and where are you check and uh, where are logs which are logs you can check and where are those logs are situated Like where log messages, sys log, and OS watcher, like so many logs. Like which are log you can check, and where are those log location? And question number forty-five: What does mean by load average in a Linux server or any server? We always come across load is high and server is rebooted due to high load. Like what does what does mean by load average? And question number forty-six: How how to check how many processes are waiting? Like you, I am having a huge load on my. server and then uh, most of the server most of the processes are waiting like where you can check uh, 
um, my processes are waiting for the CPU or resource like where you can check how many processes are waiting and again coming to the SM what is the disk repair time and again fast disk racing uh, what does uh, disk repair time again question number 48 one of the stand alone DB has a 10 GB uh, SGA and uh, select query output is 50 GB will the user get the output of entire 50 GB and if yes how if not why and question number 49 one standalone DB is up and running and somebody has deleted SP file, P file and alert log everything somebody has deleted and you do not have any backup for that database and without knowing that you just shut down your database and then you know you want to start that database back so how you will start it and you don't have any P file or SP file so how you will recover your P file or SP file and also that database is one of the production database uh, you know customer has set a lot of uh, tuning parameters lot of parameters which uh, you know uh, around 50 60 parameter they have set it uh, how you will recover those all parameters so in case of you are able to restore your sp file and how you will restore those parameters uh, you know these are one of the tricky questions i can say so that's it guys look around 40 50 questions uh, you know it went uh, approximately two hours so few questions are uh, you know repeated uh, you know where i say if you see my previous video few questions are repeated because uh, you know the, the questions are repeated uh, you know sometimes during the interview so these are the real time uh, interview questions happened so it, it may help for you guys if you are anybody preparing for the interview i hope uh, you know please go through these questions and uh, you know uh, get me in, get in touch with me for the answers and you know please uh, you know feel free to discuss with me i am ready to help you guys uh, you know all the best uh, thank you